so many people had questions and had problems updating their phone to the nougat firmware i've already made some videos on the updates but i will try to explain everything clearly in this video so there could be two possibilities either you are on the soak test firmware or you are on the official marshmallow firmware so if you are on the marshmallow firmware you don't need to do anything either you can use i will show you how to flash the ota manually in this video so you can do that or you will also get the update notification in like some hours only so now if you are on the soak test you can't flash the ota directly on the soak test and you won't get any update notification if you are on the soak test and people asked me if the previous video was official of course that was official because i received it myself and i uh, uploaded that to google drive and i showed you how to manually do that so if you want to check if you are on the soak test or not the new updates boot animation is different or if you have upgraded before december then you're definitely on the soak test the soak test is the no good firmware only but it was a testing firmware by motorola many youtubers claimed it that it was official but it was not i didn't make a video on the soak test because i knew it was not official so if you want any other videos for moto g4 plus stay subscribed on this channel and i will also make some other android content that you might find useful so if you are on the soak test firmware you will need to downgrade from the soak test firmware to the marshmallow firmware to do that i have made a video on it so you can follow that it works perfectly fine you just have to follow the steps one by one so after you have downgrade from the soak test to the marshmallow firmware this is the official marshmallow firmware and it works perfectly fine you will receive the ota directly and if you don't receive the system notification you can manually update or you can either wait for the update notification to come to your phone even if you upgrade your phone from marshmallow to the official nougat firmware the december update not the soak test the december firmware you will receive updates from motorola so you don't have to worry about that you will however need your bootloader to be unlocked before you downgrade your phone so why did some people get it before and some people got it afterwards this is very normal and ha happens with all other moto g's and all other phones as well so motorola releases it so motorola releases it to some batches first and then they start to officially roll out to everyone it's maybe because they want to test first if it works fine for some phones i don't know the exact official reason but that's how it is so i will show you how to unlock your bootloader so to unlock your bootloader you will first need to power off your device i have powered off my device and then you need to open it into bootloader mode to do that you will need to press and hold the power button and the volume down button for about 3 seconds now you will need to connect a usb cable to your phone and connect it to your computer so now you have done everything on the mobile i will show you what you have to do on your computer so first you will have to download this file named mfastboot version 2 and extract this file So now the extracted folder I will rename it to something easier like mfastboot. I will just name it as mfast and then copy this to my C directory. The phone is already connected to my computer. So now all I have to do is press the shift key and right click on my mouse and select open command window here. I will leave all the commands in the description below. You can also go to my Facebook page. I have the full procedure on unlocking the bootloader. So you have to type this command. When you will type this, you will get this data. All you have to do is copy it on a notepad and remove these lines. and remove all the spaces also now this is your unlock key you will have to use this unlock key to unlock your mobile so head on over to the motorola website i have the link in the description also i'm already signed into this if you're not you can quickly use your google account to sign in and then motorola also has the same procedure on their website you'll have to paste the unlock data here 
and after that click on can my device be unlocked so you'll just have to agree and request unlock key this will show you that uh, you will void your warranty now all you have to do is open gmail and here you will get the unlock key sent by motorola this will be unique for every phone now what you have to do is type m fastboot oem unlock and uh, you'll have to give a space and then type your unlock key i've already unlocked my device so i don't need to do it again but when you press enter your device will be unlocked so unlocking your bootloader will void your warranty and delete all the data on your device so that's it for unlocking the bootloader let's move on to the other procedures so guys after you have downgraded your phone from nougat to marshmallow so to make this video i also just upgrade my phone to the soft test nougat and then downgrade from there now as you can see i am on the official marshmallow firmware as soon as i downgraded i got the system update notification you can either click on this notification and upgrade your phone using this or if you didn't get this notification you'll first have to copy this ota file onto your internal sd card and then power off your phone you can use the system update notification to update and it would work just fine but if you didn't get the notification you can do it this way so you will have to power off your phone and after that open it in bootloader mode by pressing the power button and the volume down button and holding them yeah now you are in bootloader mode from here you have to go to the recovery mode you can use the volume buttons to browse between the different options and to select you will have to use the power button so i'll select recovery so now it will show you something like this to go to the actual recovery options you will have to press and hold the power button for around 2 seconds and then just tap on the volume up button and from here you will have to apply update from sd card you still have to use the volume buttons to browse and the power button to select select apply update from sd card and then click on the power button then you will be faced with all the files that are in your internal sd card you will have to select the ota file from here uh, and after you click on this it will take up to 15 minutes so make sure you have at least 50% battery before you start this and that's it it will continue like this for around 15 minutes and i will see you after this completes so i know this video was all over i know this video was all over the place and that's because i tried to make it as fast as possible but i try my best to help you guys so if anything cool comes out for moto g4 plus i will surely be posting it on this channel and i also make some cool android content so please consider subscribing to this channel and you can also watch some previous videos of mine